So here's how you make a hunter break, which obviously, even with an open table like this, where everything's nicely in a good position, is still one of the hardest things you can do on the snook table. It's not an easy thing to do, but the advantage of what I'm hopefully gonna be able to show you is even if you're, you know, your ability is not there yet, if you understand what shots to play, as you might find if you're a good player who's not playing as well as you'd like to at the moment, you can still make big breaks by just knowing how to play the cue ball around the black spot, the pink spot, understanding what shot needs to be played next and how to play it, and also your ability at any one given time and your likelihood of potting the next ball so we're just gonna try and make as high as break as possible from this position. So we're gonna stay around the black for a minute, just mopping these balls up. Gone a little bit short here, but I can use a lot left hand side. So we can just use the cushion here, slow it down. Might have just under hit that. In fact I have, and this happens every now and again. So I don't, didn't wanna play for this red near the pocket over there next, but I'm gonna to have to. There we go. I wanted to play for that one, but I couldn't quite hit it hard enough. So you just got to be confident on those types of shots when they come up. Just play them confidently. That's all you can do. Now, could have done with a better cue ball there. Should have tried a bit harder with that last shot because I've got an awkward shot coming up next. So I'm going to stun through the gap just to make sure the black. And then... That's pretty much as good as I could hope for. Not the nicest of cannons. Am I over the top on this one? So I'm nice enough on this red. Could have just done with fractionless angle, so I didn't have to use a top cushion, but just got to make sure we get the white high enough. And not too high. There we go. So now, again, just got to be a bit careful. We because all these reds are blocking each other, even though they look perfect. So I'm going to stun past the pink into a red that goes in the middle pocket. Just wanted to make sure I got that perfect then, that's why I took a little bit more time over it. So again, just about got an angle to get down on the blue. Got to make sure I get far enough, even if I'm a bit on the cushion here, it's okay. Put it a little bit thicker than I wanted to. It's good time I'm just going a little bit further there, but I've got a shot. We're just going to roll the blue in, and I've got red that's below the blue spot. Wanted to pot that thinner, pot it a bit thick, but I think I'm okay. If I can just get down for the black somehow, yeah, so we can get down for the black. Just missed the red over there. I'll hit the red. So this is this is the key time now, because this sort of thing happens at least once in the majority of good breaks. You just lose perfect position. And you know the shot we've got to play, it's the long blue. And it's just about playing it very, very confidently and doing the minimum we need to do with it. Because I think the pink goes, it does. So we just need to get on that second red down so it needs, means we need to end up here somewhere. So we just need to pull the cue ball back about a foot. Don't need to do any more than that. Just need to focus on pulling the ball and getting it there. And there we go. That's how you do it. So we're spot on. We've got to just drop on the pink. Again, this isn't necessarily an easy shot. Bit of a stretch, so we've just got to make sure Again, do the minimum I need to pod it. There we go, straight in the middle. So I'm pretty happy with that. Just could have done with being a bit straighter here, so I might have to play a cannon, which could go wrong. All these reds are really good from the other side of the table. I'm gonna try and cannon the red I'm next to now. Just gonna make sure I don't forget about the pot. Just get a nice cannon on the red I'm next to. Yeah, I was worried I was going to stick on that and not push it on, if I pushed it on. Just could have done with not being over the top of it and it's perfect here, but so we've just got to get nicely on the pink. And that's 
all we've got to do really. Just make sure we get nice and all pink. Bounce. I think that's okay. Yeah, just an inch short really. But these sort of things make all the difference at this time. Yeah, if that's an inch further, I'm in a lot easier position than I am now. But a lot better position than when we were on that blue. So, just going to stun this and make, take a bit of time on this. Just get, uh, it's a bit, I just don't want to over screw it for this red in the middle pocket. We're playing for this one next. I did, didn't I? <laughs> so, might be a change of plan here if this red's any good. I'm not sure it is. Just need to play this one around the back of the black then. Which you should be able to get. I'm gonna go around the back of the black nicely on it. Just make sure to pop. Whew, thought it was a bit high there. But we're on the black. Right. So we've got the first one that goes, those three, that one pops in there. So if I can maybe screw back through the gap. Or maybe screw back, yeah, into this one, hopefully, is the right shot to play. Not quite, but I still had this one, I knew. That's a bit disappointing, really. I just potted it top jaw. So uh, I'm going to need the extension for this, aren't I? Hang on, quick extension break. <laughs> Okay, we're back. We've got the red. A bit high, but now we've got more options and where to get position. Hang on. So I've just used a little bit of right-hand side to get past that red. It's got a bit close to the cushion, though. We just couldn't deal with, do without that at this, uh, at this stage. So we're just going to stun down for the black. Played that a bit too quick. Just for that body. I shouldn't have played that, that so quickly but I'm perfect, which is okay. So we can just stun up past the, uh, keep it low on the red for the red for the pink. Oh, I've just gone too far. It's okay, we can play for the black. I just wanted an angle to go through the gap there and I didn't quite get it. So we're just gonna go down low on the red. And then, uh, oh, that's just going pretty well to this stage. How do we get on this red? Lots of options. <laughs> it's not like we're short of options, you just got to work out the best way. So I'm going to just go, try and go past the pink and the red. Just got to make sure I get the gap, make sure I get the pot. That's perfect. Just make sure you're, you're thinking about all of those things and you're not forgetting anything. Now, I'm going to play back for the blue here. And I want to leave myself an angle. I don't have to do anything with it. That's the key part of this shot. Next bit of the shot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Spot on. And right, so now it's just about the colours which need to be taken in a set way. Ideally. So straight on the yellow is fine. If you're any lower than that, you can play off the cushion. Just makes it a little bit harder because it's the last one that's really missable which is a good way of putting pressure on yourself before you play it. So we're just going to screw back a little bit here, try and get straight as possible on the green. And this, ah. and this is the bits where you re, you know, you're under a bit of pressure. You really got to focus on it. So we're going to just get through the gap between the, oh, we're going to avoid the brown, leave an angle to come down for the blue. Yeah, we're queuing nicely now probably saying that too soon. Key here is to leave a good angle on the blue. So just making sure I get top side of it, stay top side of it, don't do anything other than that. I'm gonna have to use a cushion here, but if you're gonna have to play on and off the top cushion, for the amount of side I'm doing this, perfect, perfect angle. I thought it was a bit hard, but that's absolutely spot on, just not, not enough side. Key shot on the pink, just stun it in. Oh, thought I missed it. Genuinely thought I missed it. Thankfully, I'm pretty confident on these blacks, so I'm just gonna try and roll it in. 
What if I missed it after saying that? <laughs> but that's how you make a hundred break. Unfortunately, I think I've had coronavirus all week and this is the first day I've been able to walk around the table. So I only just got the video done. I wasn't playing well enough and the camera was nearly out of battery and I don't think I had time to recharge it again. But I'm confident I'm finally feeling well enough to find Tyler, who's from Yeovil in the UK. Which I believe is there. So this is definitely the closest I've come to not getting a video out in just over four years now. But if you want to see more videos where I'm clearing the table like this, have a look at these two. And remember, don't just watch, play. And make the commitment to becoming a better player by subscribing to the channel and visit the website. See you later. Hopefully I will be back next week, but you never know.